Welcome back. Problem 3.46. So this problem is taken from Mechanics of Material by Baron Johnson. Sixth edition. The statement is electric motor exert a torque of 800 newton meter on the steel shaft ABCD when it is rotating at a constant speed. Design specification required that diameter of the shaft be uniform from A to D and the angle of twist between A and D not exceed 1.5 degree. Knowing that maximum sharing stress is less or equal to 80 giga, 60 megapascal and G is 77 gigapascal. Determine the minimum diameter shaft that can be used. So this is shaft A, B, C, D and there is a motor that exert 800 Newton torque. T A is given as 800 Newton into meter torque. And at point B and C, there are torques are applied. So you have to find the minimum diameter. So let's start with the solution. So basically, we have given the maximum sharing stress and we have the angle of twist of point D with respect to A. A. So we will calculate the diameter based on both scenarios. So first, we will find torques. So it is given that torque of point A is equal to 800 newton into meter or you can say this is the torque in shaft a b because if you cut the shaft over here so there will be a torque of if this is 800 in clockwise so again reaction will be anti clockwise so this is t a b which is equal to t a clear and torque in shaft b c bc is if you cut it over here so you can see there is a i will remove it if you cut it over here so there is 800 newton into meter and this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise so here you will have a counterclockwise 500 because 800 minus 3 a uh, minus 800 minus 800 plus 300 minus tbc tbc is equal to zero so tbc will be equal to minus 500 minus means that it will be in clockwise direction let me check it this is plus minus 800 this is plus 300 will be minus 500 so minus 500 means that um, our net torque will be in this direction so i will change it plus so this means that 500 newton into meter in clockwise direction so tbc is equal to 500 newton into meter now tcd if we cut the beam at this point let me show you at this point cd so there is no torque so here tcd will be equal to zero or you can also, if you are taking from this direction, so TCD is equal to zero. And if you, 300 plus 500 is 800 counterclockwise. And here we have 800, which will cancel. So TCD will be equal to zero. So what we will do is that we will uh, design this shaft uh, based on the stress, sharing stress. So design, first we will design based on stress. clear and uh, we will use the maximum torque which is this tab is 800 so torque will be equal to 800 newton into meter and we know that maximum sharing stress is equal to t into c divided by j so from here you will get uh, uh, ta is equal to t into c divided by j is pi by 2 c power 4 so we are interested to find out c so this one will cancel with this and we will left with c cube will be equal to 2t over pi into ta. Now you can put the value c cube is 2 multiplied by torque is 800 divided by pi and sharing stress is less or equal to 60 megapascal. So we will take 60 into 10 to the power 6 pascal. So from here you will get c cube will be equal to 8.488 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cubic meter and when you take the cubic under root so c cube and it will be equal to 
8.48 into 10 to the power minus 6. So from here you will get C will be equal to 20.40 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. R in millimeter C will be equal to 20.40 millimeter. Since you are interested to find out diameter, so we know diameter is equal to 2 time of radius C's radius. So 2 multiplied by 20.40 will be equal to 40.8 millimeter. So this is the required diameter that is calculated based on stress, maximum sharing stress. Now we will um, we'll design based on design based on deformation so let me show you you can see that here theta d is given so this theta d will be equal to uh, t, uh, it is given that angle deflection of point d with respect to a that will be equal to deformation in c with respect to d plus deformation in b with respect to c plus deformation of point b with respect to a this will be equal to uh, angle of twist of point d with respect to a so i will write it theta let me write it theta d with respect to a will be equal to theta dc plus theta b c slash b or b slash c plus theta b slash a so what we will do is that we have this value we are going to find these values as well now theta c dc is equal to zero because you can see there is no sharing there is no torque so there is no uh, angle of twist in cd theta bc we will find theta bc so theta b with respect to c will be equal to tbc into lbc divided by g into j so tbc is given as 500 newton into meter and length is 0 0.6 meter so 500 multiplied by 0 0.6 divide remain it g and j should be like this so you will get 300 divided by g j now we'll find angle of twist of point b with respect to a which is equal to t a b divide into l a b divided by g into j so t a b is 800 and length is 0 0.4 let me show you this is TAB is 800 and length is 0 0.4 divided by G into J. So from here you will get 320 divided by G into J. Now theta D with respect to A is given as 1. It should not increase 1.5 degree. So I will multiply 1.5 multiply by 180 divided by pi radian let me check it 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 degree is equal to 2 pi over 360 radian so that is 1 degree is pi by 180 radian so correct it this is pi by 180 so when you calculate it you will get theta d with respect to a comes out to be uh, 26.18 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian so what we will do is that this theta d slash a is this value so 26.18 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to theta dc which is 0 plus 300 divided by gj plus 320 over G J which will be which will give you 620 divided by G into J that will be equal to 26.18 into 10 to the power minus 3 so and again this 620 divided by G into J is pi by 2 C power 4 so we are interested to find out c so c power 4 will be equal to 2 multiplied by 620 
डिवाइड बाय पाई इनटू जी क्लियर सी विल बी लाइक दिस सो यू कैन पुट द वैल्यू टू इंटू सिक्स ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाय पाई मल्टीप्लाई बाय जी ओके वन इज दिस फॉर फाइंडिंग सी वी विल जी जी इज सेवेंटी सेवन गे का पास कल सो सेवेंटी सेवन इंटू टेन एस पावर नाइन मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस टर्म विल कम टू द डिनोमिनेटर सो दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट वन एट इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री सो सी पावर फोर विल बी इक्वल टू वन नाइन फाइव पॉइंट एट जीरो इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस नाइन मीटर पावर फोर एंड सी विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्थ रूट ऑफ वन नाइन्टी फाइव पॉइंट एट जीरो इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस नाइन सो हेयर यू विल गेट दिस सी विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री मीटर आर इन मिली मीटर ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर मिली मीटर सिंस वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट डाई मीटर सो डाई मीटर इज इक्वल टू टू सी सो टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी will give you diameter that is 42.1 mm now you can see you have two diameter this diameter is based on angle of twist and this diameter is based on stress so for design purpose again i will write over here so design must design must use larger diameter use larger d so d is equal to 42.1 One millimeter is the answer of this question. So we will use the shaft having diameter of forty-two point one millimeter. That will satisfy the condition and will not fail under the loading given in the question. And that was all about problem three point four six. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then I will request them to subscribe my channel and. don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about every latest video which i post if you have any question you can ask me in comment sections thank thank you for watching